Uh, the Havilland wind tunnel is a low speed wind tunnel. Uh, it's got a nine foot wide by seven foot high working section. It's got a turntable that allows us to change a model, your pitch and roll setting, so we can test half aircraft configurations or full aircraft configurations up to high angles of attack. It's also got a fairly decent uh, maximum speed capability, so we can test up to meaningful Reynolds numbers. There are very, very few facilities around you know, the country and internationally that can produce data for rotating wings. The facility here is quite unique because it can cover things like propellers, things like helicopter rotors, so it has quite a range. And within the UK, without any exaggeration, there is no other facility that can deliver this kind of data. The research that we can do in this facility is wide ranging from the aerospace sector through to the industrial sector. Uh, we do a lot of work for renewable energy companies that has included two dimensional aerofoils and, and renewable energy concepts. The, the model in the background is a, is a project, uh, an EU funded project with Airbus as the uh, industrial coordinator. We've done some propeller aerodynamics, so for example we're looking at concepts for uh, modern propeller design and performance uh, enhancement. Um, rotary wing type flows, renewable energies and we've got velocity measurement from PIV, from LDA and from hot wire systems and also a fairly large uh, channel count for pressure scanners and data acquisition. I want to make a point about the people behind the facility because the facility is only one part of the equation. These facilities are driven by experts so it takes people who have the experience, the knowledge and if you wish the patients to go through all that is needed to have reliable data that we can use and accurate, accurate data that we can really hang our hat on and trust in our numerical simulations.